All right, Corey James here alongside Shanika Grimstraw. We're following some breaking news at this hour out of Southeast D.C. where three officers have been shot. Yeah, it happened within the hour near Hannah Place and Benning Road. D.C. police confirming on X that three officers have been shot, though their injuries appear to be life threatening. And that's where we find D.C. News Now's Tosin Fakile. Uh, she's on the scene. Those three officers were taken to area hospitals. What's the latest, Tosin? Well, I can tell you right now, uh, Corey and Shanika, it's still a very active scene. We are by 8th Street. I'm going to step out the shot so you can get a better view of what we're looking at. This scene extends all the way further down. I'm being told closer to F Street. Right now, it is roped off at 8th Street. And like you said, the information we know at this hour on X by D.C. Police, it says three officers have been injured, all suffering from non like non life threatening injuries, it seems as if and they said this all started in what MPD put on X that they were responding to a shooting in the 5000 block of Hannah Place Southeast. And I can tell you since we've been on the scene probably about 15 minutes, we've seen a lot more officers arriving on the scene in police cars. The road is blocked off. H Street seems to be open right now, but if you try to go on by Benning, you cannot go. And this incident is also causing more disruptions here because you have behind us, which you can't see. There's like three or four Metro buses and they cannot go through this way. Another important information bystanders have told me here is that right down that street, there is a school by F Street Kip Academy. There's a school in that direction and they say kids are supposedly supposed to be in school at this time. So we're working to find out what the situation is with them at this hour. But once again, I'm going to recap for you is three officers injured. According to D.C. police, they tell us that their injuries for those officers seem to be uh, non life threatening at this moment. We're working to find out more information, but as you can see, as uh, photojournalist Tim Corley zooms all the way down. You can see all the blue uh, police lights going. It is a very active scene. And like I said earlier, we had a few more officers arriving on the scene. Some people here don't even know what's going on. We don't know how the shooting happened, what caused the shooting, why police are on the scene in the, uh, in the first place that led to the shooting. This is all information we are working to get. But I can tell you, this is a heavy residential area. There are homes to my right and homes to my left. There are actually people behind me who I guests want to get on the bus, but the bus cannot go in this direction because police have blocked off the road. Still a very active scene. We're here all morning working to bring you the latest details, but if you're just joining in and tuning in now, three officers shot. According to D.C. police, their injuries appear to be non-life threatening. They started on the scene reports of a shooting in the 5000 block of Hannah Place Southeast. Still a very active scene. We're going to be live here all morning bringing you the latest day with D.C. News Now. We'll keep you up to date on air and online. But for now, we're live in Southeast and D.C. I'm Tosa Fakile. I'll send it back to you guys. So working and trying to gather the very latest. But if you can, Tosin, just stand by there. Uh, we're going to come back to you in just a moment. As we saw in those photos there, you can see just a line of patrol cars, D.C. police patrol cars lining that street near Hannah and Benning Road. You can see just how active that scene is there with law enforcement for those three officers who were shot. There's so many questions that we do not know, at least at this hour. Again, three police officers shot. Those officers taking to area hospitals. We are working to learn more about which hospitals those are. We have multiple crews heading to the scene, heading to the hospitals as where uh, those officers were taken to. Uh, just on social media, D.C. Police Union, we can say that they tweeted uh, not too long ago at 840 a.m. saying, quote, we can confirm that three of our members have been shot by a suspect. And the 5300 block of Hannah Place Southeast, the injuries appear to be non life threatening and the members have been transported to area hospitals. So that is some good news. At least at this hour, we know the injuries, according to D.C. Police Union, appear to be non life threatening. Again, we do not know the circumstances of this shooting, how it all unfolded. But what we do know is a little bit before nine o'clock, at least three D.C. police officers were shot. And again, those officers were taken to area hospitals, as we just saw in Tosin's live shot there. Uh, police, they have been lining the street near Hannah Place and I believe Benning Road. You saw that massive police presence. That just shows you how severe and how intense uh, this particular incident is with those law enforcement officers who are gathering around 
where those officers were shot. Uh, I don't know if we can, uh, in the control room, can we go back to Tosin? I don't know if she is ready to go back live, if she has any additional information that she can share. Okay, Roshan, our producer, is saying that she's going to ask uh, Tosin if she's able to go back live in just a moment. If you're just joining us right now on DC News Now, we're breaking into coverage at this hour. Uh, three police officers for DC police, they were shot a little bit before 9 o'clock uh, this morning. This happened on Hannah Place and Benning Road. Those officers were told by D.C. Police Union uh, that they were taken to area hospitals. Their injuries are non-life-threatening. Non rather, The scene that we saw, I don't know if you're looking at the images, you can see there's crime scene tape. There are multiple patrol cars. It's roped off at this hour. Uh, police are investigating. You can see the map indicating where that shooting took place. It is unclear where the suspect is, where the gunman is. We're going to take a look at the tweet, though, right here. This is going to give you a little bit more insight as to what police are describing that unfolded. So if we can go to the tweet, giving us some insight as to what police are describing took place. Do we have that, Roshan? Here we go. So D.C. police saying that this all started. About 41 minutes ago, you're looking on X. This was a critical incident. MPD is responding to a shooting in the 50 or 5,000 block, rather, of Hannah Place Southeast. The scene remains active. For safety purposes, media needs to stay far from the scene. Updates to come. As you just saw about maybe 10 minutes ago, Tosin, uh, she was cornered off, blocked away, giving us that live update there about what she saw from her vantage point. And then you see about 32 minutes ago, officers had been injured in this incident and taken from the scene. D.C. police saying that they're working to confirm the number of officers who have been injured. We now know that three police officers have been taken to area hospitals.